Hi, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. We're coming back with the last round of Swiss, round six, here at Wet Coast GT at the Hyperspace Trial here in Vancouver, British Columbia. So we have these two gentlemen, are on, both of them are on the cusp of top eight. One of them will make it, one of them will not. And so we thought this was a suitably dramatic match to bring you for our last round today. So, okay, I've got the list in now. Just give me a second here. I'll get that, uh, get ourselves hypered into the zone. Okay, here we go, lists are up. So on the left side, we have Sean Ramberg uh, bringing some Rebel Beef. He's got uh, Blue Squadron Scout with Leia and the Pivot Wing. Uh, Blue Squadron Pilot, Tractor Beam, Jamming Beam for double disrespect. Gray Squadron Bomber times two, Ion Cannon Turret, Veteran Turret Gunner, and the Phoenix Squadron Pilot. Uh, Nicholas has brought some CIS shenanigans. So he's got Darth Maul, Hate, General Grievous, and Kraken. Uh, and then uh, DFS 311 with energy shell charges and three precise hunters, also all with energy shell charges. Just gonna mark these guys up so that we know which is which here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and time has started. Go. All right, these guys are still just finishing placing their ships, but the timer is gone, so I'm running it. And this is our last round for the day. We will uh, we'll be back here bright and early tomorrow morning, but this it will be our last time out tonight. Yeah, you sure did, Larry. You did fantastically with that CIS list. Them droids are a menace. All right, so it looks like they got a bunch of rocks on the board now. Nicholas still placing his ships. Nice. Mm, this should be pretty interesting, actually. Um, Darth Maul is actually one of my favorite new ships. Um, Darth Maul on that infiltrator. All you really need on him is hate. Uh, Grievous and Kraken in this case are just gravy to go with those extra droids. All right, just to be clear, um, the droids here are all going to be marked. So it looks like the three droids are going to be play are play are all placed along the bottom there. Um, one, two, three along uh, from bottom to top. 
So that's how I'm going to count them. Uh, and then the top one on the far end there is DFS 311. Oh, Ryan Farmer, the legendary Ryan Farmer. Yeah, it should be fun. I hope it's fun. Uh, both of these guys are on the cusp of top eight. So uh, whoever wins gets in, and whoever does not, go the heck home. <laughs> Kidding. Come back tomorrow. There we go. Uh, I've played Sean a few times in the past at uh, various tournaments. He's really good when it comes to multi-ships. Uh, the last time I fought him, he had a uh, seven-ship rebel list that was a whole bunch of uh, Z95s. Tore me apart like I was made of cheese. All right, so that's number one, Gray Squadron Bomber. And there's number two. Oh! Cheat early, cheat often. Uh, no, both of them have a single loss so far. Uh, if either one of them lose, um, that will probably bounce them out of the top eight. I believe there's prizing for top 16, but we're only doing cut for top eight because that's all the time we have for tomorrow. Uh, no, I believe Sean is uh, actually from here in Vancouver. Yeah, ne neither of these guys are island boys, although I'm pretty proud. Uh, I think we've got at least three of our island guys uh, in the top, are like gonna be in the top cut, as long as they don't botch it this round. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Drea. All right, there it is, the sweep and set into the next round. Uh, we have a couple of 5-0s, uh, but these guys are currently 4-1. Uh, I think we only have two undefeated right now. And uh, I think, oh no, uh, three? Nope, two. Uh, Andrew Bunn doing, doing that Bunn thing. Uh, Graham is uh, currently undefeated. Mike has lost one, but he has done really, really well in the last little while. Uh, Mikey, on the other hand, he's down in like 22nd right now, <laughs> so he ain't making the cut. Uh, Vashon Island? I don't know. Let me Google that. Oh, dude, you're not that far away at all. I mean, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, honestly, um, you could take the Seattle Clipper to Victoria directly for less than $100. And uh, <laughs> with your American pesos, you can buy a lot of Canadian things. Yeah, you're, you're only a couple hours away by ferry.
So if you follow Geek Tech Industries on Facebook, uh, we post all the local events that happen uh, within Victoria and Vancouver area if we can. Um, even if we can't get to them, we're still going to post them because we want people to know. Breaking it up a little. Oh, he's finally getting that blue squadron scouted out the corner. Nicholas starting to reveal his dials now. So, oh, I didn't realize. It looks like Nicholas actually has the, the uh, potential for pilot initiative. Yay, Dutch. Oh, looks like he's going to push them all into the bump here and get some train tracks going on. And there we go, right up into that vulture. Kablonk. Wow, he totally swallowed that template. Ate the whole damn thing. And then he ate the bull. This is going to be a very interesting match. Two sort of beefy mini swarms coming at each other. That's a lot of shots with those energy shell charges. They, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem. And then with them sharing all them calculate tokens as well, that's going to be great. I'm really glad that we've had uh, a, a buried group of lists and pilots today. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of double up on the stream yet, which uh, feels really good. Feels really good to, to showcase a whole bunch of different lists. All right, looks like dials are down. Moving into activation. System, no system, moving on. He's putting that A-wing out already. Just going to carefully move him up. So that, of course, is DFS 311.
And you can see there's a calculate. And then uh, we got given a bunch of really nifty calculate tokens that have uh, battle droids on them, which I thought was kind of neat. Roger, roger. Moves on up, taking a focus. I 100% agree with you, Larry. Um, I think the gaming is in a great place right now. Um, people will complain about certain lists or certain combinations. We're not really seeing them here. Uh, what we are seeing is a lot of layout because it's cheap. I understand it's good. Uh, but we're not seeing that uh, uh, degenerate Han and Jake and things like that. Uh, Sir Tosalot, these guys are 4-1 and both aiming to make the cut, but only one of them is going to get it. So the, these guys are hungry. Hungry for that. Uh, we've already had both people, uh, or... Yeah, table one and the other one are are both the, are all the undefeated folks, uh, but we've already seen all of them and they're kind of boring. So let's bring you something different. Tomorrow is going to be all about the competitive top cuts. So let's give you something special. Special. These guys all moving up. Look at all that calculate. My God. <laughs> and a calculate. There we go. And then Maul. Swooping in behind. No title or nothing, so uh, no ability to cloak. Maul honestly doesn't really need that shiz. He just needs hate and whatever else you need to make the rest of the list work. And he hangs back and just gets angry. There we go. Ah, oh, some nice sportsmanship again, helping out. So, uh, Dutch, if you are uh, planning to be semi around close by in the summertime, uh, I am running a one-day mini tournament uh, here in Victoria, or not here, but on the island in Victoria there. Um, on, uh, July the 6th, I believe it is. Uh, I'll be posting more details of that when I get home from this. Like nothing happening here. Oh, he's getting my chance to reroll on it. So nothing really going on. And it looks like the A-wing's gonna have a shot, maybe. Oh, look at that. Two dice. No waiting. Oh. Gonna spend. Yep. Other people's calculates. Well, don't worry, Dutch, we'll keep you, if you're following our page, we'll keep you informed of all, all the events happening. 
So if you got an opportunity, we'd love to see you. All right, and back to Dial. So he's swept the tokens he needs to. The other one's good to keep. All right, BRB guys, just got to check something. Okay, so, oh, here we go, dials are up. I haven't really seen any bombs lately. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Pushing that A-wing right up there. That's what he's there for though, he's, he is the agile blocker for this list. He's thinking hard about what his next action was. Yep, good call. And then DFS 311 doing a two bank. Oh, well done, Sean. Looks like he threw him up there as a blocker. Oh, no, he does not clear. I thought for a minute he had actually cleared, but he does not. And there it is. And of course, still got that calculate. All right, he's bringing in the Y wing now. Got that double top eye on cannon which uh, droids hate Ion. Oh man, do they hate Ion. Yeah, push that B-wing up. I'm just hiding in behind. That's fine, he doesn't need to worry about that because he's got, uh, of course, the coordinate going on. Oh, except he looks like he might bump that too. Oh no, he clears. Very nice. He's probably gonna coordinate. Yep, there it is, focus. And uh, I don't think he took his stress though, did he? I think we're missing something here. Hey, Sean. Sean. Doesn't that coordinate, Red? Oh, okay. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's there. He finally caught up. Okay, here come the droids. Da dun, da dun, da dun. Oh, he's moving in a bit of a weird manner here. I don't know why he's not moving the other ones first. Ooh, yeah, man. That's nice. A-Wing's in a good spot there. 
Yeah, right, right after I took my headset off, he put it down. <laughs> And he's going to push that up into a bump. Oh, maybe. That might actually clear. I think he's got to template his bud. There you go. Getting his opponent to pull that out for him. Oh, a little bump. A little bumpy. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be Geek Tech if it wasn't. Yeah, he clears it. That is tight. Oh my God. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. I did not expect that. That's like the Spanish Inquisition. And this guy's also bumping up. He doesn't care. There's four calculates there for them to share. <laughs> that is one amazing thing about these droids is that um, ability to share their calculates like that. They don't give a crap about collisions. All right, and there goes Maul. Yeah, slow roll up, just like I would. Uh, that A-wing is not in a good place. Now, on, on the bright side, that A-wing isn't going to get an energy shell charge in the face. I'm pretty sure those are two to three. P please let me know if I'm wrong about those energy shell charges. They're pretty new, and I don't know. I don't always memorize everything. And so he's just going to shift the calculate to the other one. All right, so we got Maul. Mm, focus, focus, blank. Just thinking about that target. There you go. He's going to re-roll two of those because he's got some force. There you go. Oh, from Kraken. That's right. And, up into, and then, yeah, calculating force, hit, hit, crit. All right, so that was two into, which one is that, B-Wing two? Oh, stun pilot. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Looks like we're looking at the hunters now. Precise hunters bringing it out. Mm. Gonna spend a couple calculates here. Okay, so it looks like this back guy shooting his energy shell charge for two, one hit, one crit. Looks like that was into the Y-Wing. Avoided one, took a crit. Oh, damage sensor array. Harsh. Harsh, bud. All right, and then it looks like the next one there. Oh, 
Oh! Best strat, roll net. And, oh, man. Hit, hit, and the crit is damaged engine. Wow, that Y-Wing has taken a beating. But he ain't dead yet. Stun pilot, damage sensor ray, damage tension. He's on fire. Like he's seeing if he's got that final shot on the Y wing here. I'm using those energy shell charges up. And he's thinking about them calculates. Can he afford to spend them? He's really thinking. I feel like he's going to spend one and not the other. Or he might not spend any. Oh, no, there he goes. Turn up for two. Yep. Goodbye, Y. Disabled power regulator as well. Wow, poor Y. He was just ruined. Wow, Nicholas doing really well with this list so far. We'll see if Sean now can get some shots back. So he's B-wing into that front one. Oh, is he using one of his cannons here? There we go, so three hits. No more calculates left. So one hit gets through. And he is gonna tractor it. Very nice. So it was the tractor beam. He's gonna land it on the rock. So he's gonna have to roll that damage. Oh, he takes a hit. All right, that was on number one. Boom. And then the Y-wing. Two dice, one crit. And Nicholas, I think he has a range three there. Oh, they're calling a judge to double check. Oh, they're checking to see if it's obstructed because of that bit of nubbin. Kalen's just eyeing that up now. And it appears that it was not obstructed. Oh my, that is not good. And then the Y-Wing double tap. Oof, nothing. All right, he's still got the B, or sorry, the, uh, still got the U-wing to shoot. And, all right, one hit. 
One of eight. And then last but not least, oh no, we got uh, DFS, I guess. There we go. I'll actually mark Nicholas as first player then. All right, so range three on the U-wing. What's he taking a shot at? Trying to figure out what his best shot is. Does he, does he shoot the B wing? Which gives him an extra die with a focus. Or is he going for the U wing and start and gonna start mowing into Leia? I know personally I would go for Leia. Uh, get Leia the hell out of here. Two and nothing. And then last but not least, that little uh, Phoenix Squadron pilot. Looks like he's gonna roll three dice. What? Is the Phoenix water not shooting? Oh man, I guess the Phoenix water didn't shoot or did I miss that? Dang. Yeah, they're sweeping and setting. Well, that was what they call a bad trade. That was that was not good. Very bad, not good, unhappiness. This is quite the game. Wow, Sean is already down a ship, and Nicholas has hardly taken anything. And, and Maul is actually probably the scariest part of this entire list. Sean's got one more dial to foot down. Nicholas really thinking about where he's going to put those dials. That one vulture droid is in a bit of trouble though. He's definitely going over the rock, um, which gives him basically a 50-50 chance of damage.
All right, dials are down. And they're about to go up. Go to Lynn Lewing. Oh wait, I guess that makes Sean player one? Hmm, okay, I'm at, I guess I got that wrong. There we go, ha <laughs> ha, great success. A wing K turn, A wing K turn. Yeah, get in behind. Yeah, you don't want A-wings behind you. Nobody wants an A-wing behind you. the Y wing. Oh, oh, that's a mess. Sean may have sacrificed a ship, but uh, he's doing just fine. Oh yeah, that definitely fits. Ooh, although because of that bit of off kilterness, he might not clear the guy on the rock. Oh, bollocks. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't think he finishes. Oh man, not gonna fit, not gonna fit. Oh, uh, just bumped his, uh, his buddy's ship there. So, no, no, does not fit. Good call, Dutch. <laughs> All right, and there we go. There's the bump. <laughs> He's trying to make sure he gets as many shots as possible. Trying to get this guy past, maybe K turning, over the rock, which means no action, and he's stressed, but he's not getting shot at. Oh, and he takes another over the rock. Worth it. Wow, that tractor beam has done two damage. Forward two. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be short of the rock. Oh, tight. A couple of millimeters, and he wouldn't have been. Can I calculate it up? The mall's going to swoop in here behind and just ruin everyone's day. That's just going to be bad news all around. Got just over half an hour left.
still very much anybody's game. And it looks like Maul doing a slow roll bank. Going to move on up and ruin someone's day. There we go, Maul coming up to the bump. Okay, that's the end of activation. We're gonna begin engagement. Maul, of course, shoots first at five. I'm looking at his odds. If I were Nicholas, I'd pour everything I got into the U-wing. I think he might be going for the B-wing. Whoa, best strat, roll Nat. Womp. Okay, so that was that was the B wing. Three shields down. Ooh, two focuses and a hit. He's thinking about those calculates sitting there. Use them or lose them, boys. Well, I guess not so much with uh, DFS and cracking around. And I can't believe we've already burned through 45 minutes of the round. Wow. Gonna spend two of those calculates. Hit, hit, hit. Oof. I was on the B wing. Hit and two damage cards. Oof. Crit, hit, hit. He evades one. That's uh, not enough. And the crit is structural damage. Insult to injury. Wow. These, wow, these CIS lists are doing amazing. I mean, there's, there's only been two separatist lists here today. Uh, this is the only one with the infiltrator. Yeah, two PS kills. I mean, mm. a Y wing and the U wing left. This is bad news. This has been a solid route. Oh, though he's got that four dice from the U wing. Oh! Hit, hit, crit is solid. And he drops an evade and a focus. And takes a crit. Oh, a hit crit. And it was disabled power regulator. Oh, yeah, right. That puny little A-wing. Thank you. I totally forgot cut uh, there, Dutch. And so that was hit crit on DFS. Oof. And another hit, hit, crit. And a wounded pilot. And that's DFS down and out. One hit.
And then he's going for the double tap. Oh no, he's going for the A-wing. A-wing's got, looks like two on Maul, three on the other guy, he's going for the three. Two dice from the A-wing, and one focus. Both were bad shots. He had a he had a better chance of getting some damage in on the other one, in my opinion, or getting useful damage. And 25 minutes left. Sean's really got to step it up, clean out a few more droids. Looking at a couple of the other tables here. Ooh, Graham is not doing as well as I would hope. I'm pretty sure he's still getting into the top cut because he is currently undefeated with the most MOV. What else we got here? It's, uh, it's Graham and Andrew Bunn. Oh man, no wonder he's doing so bad. <laughs> Well, he did a good job pouring damage into DFS. It's just too bad he couldn't get the other hits through on the uh, precise unders. Oh, I forgot to put the damage on the other one. Whoops. Now it's number three has taken one. There we go. All right, that's got it. So we got a full health Y-Wing and a full health U-Wing. Leia's still hanging out. I don't think he's even popped Leia yet. He didn't need to. He hasn't had to turn around yet. And that, and that A-Wing. I keep forgetting about that A-Wing hanging out the far side of the map there. I'm sure Sean hasn't forgotten about it, though. All right, dials are down. He's popping Leia. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, for, he, he did forget about the A-Wing. <laughs> A-Wing's just moving forward. And he's probably going to focus. Oh, he's taking a target lock on Maul. Interesting. I thought he'd try and kill uh, another one of those droids. I mean, he's got to get five hits into Maul in order to get half on him even. So I'm not sure that's even worthwhile. And avoids the rock. Gets on up there, taking a focus. Uh, well, I guess the Ewing didn't really move a whole lot.
Yeah. Good job, Sean. That's probably another droid we're going to clean up. Both of these gentlemen are very good pilots and have some pretty good lists. So it's been interesting watching these two jockey. I don't think Nicholas was expecting the slow roll from the Y-Wing. And oh, which one does that touch first? I can't see it from here. Let's see if I can increase the size or something. Oh, it looks like it bumped the Y-Wing first. And then Maul is K-turning. Maul is fantastic. Oh, he almost swept the target lock. There you go, stressed. All right, Maul's gonna shoot. He's got a range three on the Y-Wing. Y-Wing is unsurprised and unafraid. So just under 20 minutes left. Two hits. Turns into one on the Y-Wing. Yeah, and shrugs that off like nobody's biz. One of his other precise hunters there. He's checking to see if he's got bullseye, and that is a heck nope. And some of those medium base ships like to just spin on their center point. That's a problem. Oh, he did have a, he did have a shot, I guess. Oh yeah, he has range one, he just doesn't have bullseye. And that's, that's one evade. Finally, a shield down on the U-Wing. That last one, looks like he's also got range one on the U-Wing. He's also checking to see, he's like, mm, I got a shot on the uh, Y-Wing instead, maybe. He's spreading his shots out, though, which is the wrong thing to do. And, all right, going to re-roll the one. And nothing. All right, and then the other precise hunter. Wow, betrayed. Put those dice on a tray, circle them with your other dice and light them on fire like Patrick would do. All right, so we get the Y-Wing. Oh yeah, three up. I guess that guy actually bumped the other, the other one instead there. And that's uh, one, oh, two damage on Precise Hunter number two. Ooh, nice roll. So he's gonna turn up one and take one. Uh, and that's that Precise Hunter dead. That's number two, right? Yeah, number two. Ooh-wee. Ow, 
and a direct hit. All right, that's the other precise hunter dead. Uh, A-wing, nothing. He's gonna spend the target lock for one. One evade. 15 minutes left. Oh man, this is turning around. Sean up to 88 and Nicholas at 84 now. Sean has a bit of the advantage. Oh, and there are some results from some of the lower tables coming in already. Now the thing is, Maul could still probably solo the rest of this if this gets down to it. He is just that freaking good. There have been some great fights. No, I, I agree. Nick still has something going on. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, though, Dutch. This There might not be enough time for Maul to finish them all off. Because the uh, that one Grace Wonder and Bomber has still got a shield. Um, the Scout still has some shields. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, that A-wing is going to get in and do A-wing things and cause problems. Yeah, yeah, 13 minutes left. We've probably got three rounds. Um, if, if Sean can fly well, um, he can keep his margin and his win. Um, if he makes a mistake, Nicholas might just clean him up. And, and you're right, Ryan. Maul is a monster. He's just like, stay the hell away from me. It's so close right now. Not gonna lie, I really thought Nicholas had him in the first half, but now, hmm. See, I, I don't think Sean's gonna let him get four rounds in. I'm pretty sure Sean is gonna, uh, like Dutch was saying, stall it out. Yep, get up in there and block Maul. Maul can't, I don't think he can, well, he can get past him, but he's not gonna K-turn. So he's limiting his options there. Well, I don't mean he's gonna run the clock. I mean, he's gonna be causing bumps. He's gonna be uh, basically just trying to keep Nicholas from taking that in. I mean, as you can see, nobody, nobody was running the clock on dials there. They all just want to keep it moving. And he's going to spend his action to rotate his arc. I 
think that is facing behind him now. And there's that last precise hunter pushing up. Yeah, Maul's gonna have to overshoot that A-wing. I think you're gonna need to template. Oh, no, there you go, just do it from the side. That's what nubbins are for, right? You know what, I kind of agree with you, Dutch. I'd like to see a planning clock. There's no reason for somebody with like three or four dials to be like, oh, I need 10 minutes. Right, yeah, very hard to enforce. A chess clock, a chess clock would be great. Just, can you imagine the, the butthurt wailing if they put uh, a timer on planning phase? <laughs> All right, so here comes the ion. Yeah, see, I think 30 minutes aside. See, personally, I don't overthink when it comes to my dials. I just like, yeah, that looks good, slap. <laughs> it's true. Uh, the Y wing? No, he's shields down, but nothing else. That other great. There we go. Now he's caught up. I'm feeling a little called out there, Faceless Corp. Make me feel a little sensitive. Um, oh, is that that one? I thought that was the... Oh no, you're right, you're right. I was thinking of the other one. You're right, that, uh, he is at half. Ooh, which actually puts Nicholas ahead. Nope, you were right. Um, he's got the uh, stack of uh, damage cards under the dial for the dead one. And that's what was throwing me off. It does, that changes a lot. Sean has to fight way harder than I thought. And all Nicholas has to do is stay alive. Especially with six and a half minutes left, that's what? Two more rounds. I mean, from the look of it here, Maul is still fresh. He's still got all four shield tokens sitting over there. Yeah, A-Wing, K-Turn. An eagle eye farmer there, saving my bacon. No, it would not be enough, because they're, they're cheap. They're cheap, cheap, they're only 30. Uh, and that would, yeah, that, oh, he'd be two points short. 
Yeah, five points in them all. I don't think he can do that in five minutes. Um, Nicholas is just going to keep Maul the hell out. All right, just over five minutes left in our final round of Swiss. Uh, I, w I would think so, I would think so. Sean is a, a fairly competent player and is uh, pretty good at tallying his opponent's points. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I, honestly, if I was running that uh, uh, little precise hunter, I'd, I'd do the same. I would just peel him the hell out. Get him as far away from the, this fight as possible. Start building up those tokens. Get, come back in and maybe get that last shot. Keep that 30-point margin. Oh, he's shooting on. Oh, boy. Eye on. Mm, he's going to spend the focus for two. One evade, that's one. Oh, there's half on the hunter. Oh shit, when did it take another damage? That is more than half on the hunter, apparently. Oh boy, that actually pops him up. Yeah, I must have missed the other card. Yeah, that's a big oof. But sometimes, sometimes it gets a little delayed. Let me just refresh it. It's going to dump a bunch, but... Oh no, the chat's gone. There we go. It's a third, uh, the, the chat combination is a third party tool that sometimes works great, other times not so much. Yeah, this is it's a bit of an uphill battle now for Nicholas. I agree, I agree. Although the A is still is still undamaged, he's still got shields the whole nine yards, so probably not going to get pasted all at once. Oh, sloop two. There goes Maul. He's got the Y wing way out and about. All right, sloop and pray, sloop and pray. Into the U-Wing. <laughs> Maul's gonna toss it at him. Ooh, yeah! Spend that force. Yeah, buddy. Hit, hit, crit. U-Wing's got two. Oh, no, that uh, was you. Range three? Oh, no, range, just range two. 
So that is two more shields down on the Ewing. And then he's going to maul ability into the A-wing. He's weighing it out. Should he do it? I think he should. I mean, if he gets two into the A-wing, that's half. And that would give him a two-point lead. I feel he'd, like he'd be foolish not to. And this is it, time's up. Oh! And I don't think he has any force left. So that's just one into the A-wing. I don't think he's even gonna bother. Yep, because that's not enough to get half on the A-wing. And then they, uh... all right, so now the U-wing. Oh, crit, crit, hit. No, just crit, crit. And he avoids one. And that's... I think that's a total of two on the O. Oh, he's got hate, so that was regen to the thing. And then two from the A-wing. He's going to spend the force on one. And it looks like shields down on Maul as well. Wow, and that is that. Wow, good game, good game. Yeah, I feel like he should have shot at the A-wing first and uh, tried to polish that off, or tried to get that to half, and then gone for uh, the U-wing. Yeah. So that ends up, uh, looks like 118 to 105. Uh, which in this case probably is going to bump Sean into eighth place. All right, guys, we're going to call it here. Um, this has been a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining us all. We really appreciate you guys coming and watching us, giving commentary with me, chatting with us in here. Uh, really love you guys coming along for the ride here. Uh, we will be back again tomorrow morning, 9.30. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Follow us on Twitch if you haven't already. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. Oh, 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 oh. Drea's, Drea's here and he's he's looking sad. Maybe it's sad. I don't know. Maybe he's just maybe no, he's just I'm, fucking I'm with me. I'm still happy, man. I, well, I lost to Andrew. Oh, hold on, hold on. There you go. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I lost to Andrew, but uh, Andrew Bun. He's like that level or list is disgusting. The, the double oh, upsilon. You, you lost to Bun? Oh yeah. I'm not surprised. That thing that is a beast. Is insane. I didn't yeah. know how to approach it properly, and uh, he did fortressing, but it's legal as long as it's apparently I'm moving one ship. Yep. yep. Which is odd, but I mean whatever. So I was like, it didn't matter which way I approached it because Kyle's going to come in from behind me or I'm eating eight dice in the face. Yep. You know, it's my one defense feeling. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, How, how'd you do? How'd you do? I only got half points on Tapson. Oh, oh. That's it. Yeah. Still, you, you, man, you've done fantastic to you. I, I'm 99% certain you're still getting top oh, cut. Oh, no, I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, oh, introduce myself. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Um, my name's Glenn. Uh, I run Geek Tech Industries. I hear, here now I'm introducing myself at the end of the day. Yeah. So uh, if you guys want to check out more about what we do, go check out uh, our, us on YouTube, youtube.com slash geektechindustries if you're not already. Uh, follow us on the Facebooks, facebook.com slash geektechindustries. And uh, throw us your money on Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. Uh, we stream every Sunday starting around 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, of course, this Sunday we'll be here at 9 in the morning doing Top Cut. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We're going to cut it here. Oh, no, I'm going to start streaming, and I don't know what time we're actually starting. So, all right, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks again. See you later.